Hey guys, just thought I'd make a quick video attempting to repair my ski binding. Um, just noticed that one of the screws is just spinning around, which suggests the hole is stripped. Uh, so it's not really ideal because now there's going to be more strain placed on the other screws. I couldn't really find many videos showing how to do this, so I just thought I'd make one. One technique I found was to use fiberglass fibers and epoxy. Um, that's what I'm going to try. This is my first time trying this, so I'm just going to give it a go and hopefully it turns out good. So this is my uh, heel piece and I was just checking these four screws that mount the binding to the ski. So there's one in here, one in here, one here and one here. Um, now I know one of these back ones is the one that spins, so I'm just going to lift the brakes up out of the way. And just to show you, this is the screw that just keeps spinning. So basically, you need to take that out. And if you're struggling to get it out, if it's just stripped and won't spin out, just get a flat blade screwdriver and put a bit of pressure underneath as you screw it out. And then it should come out. There we go. So the next step is just to make up the mixture with the fiberglass strands and the epoxy resin. So I'm just going to start off with this amount of fibers and then just add some araldite. So that's the hardener and an equal amount of the resin, roughly. And then I'm just going to use the back of a matchstick. Just mix that up so it's all the same color. And then I'm just going to drag a few fibers into that mixture. Just give that a good mix, get the fibers all wet. Pretty sticky. So then once you've screwed in the screw and wiped away any excess epoxy that came out, I'm just going to store it um, for about a day in a nice warm temperature, let it set nice and hard, and then we'll check it tomorrow. I've left this overnight just to cure, so I'm just going to check the screw is nice and tight. It's pretty solid. Um, hopefully that's done the job. Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that's some help if you're wanting to give this a try.